In this video we're going to look at the, the different shapes that you can get with simple molecules. So simple molecules are formed when you have covalent bonding between atoms and remember that uh, ionic compounds form giant structures and some covalently bonded molecules are actually giant as well. So examples that we looked at in the notes are diamond, graphite, silicon dioxide which is sand. They're giant molecules. We're not looking at those. We're looking at simple covalent molecules like carbon dioxide, ammonia, water, that sort of thing. So I've got a dot and cross diagram here showing the outer shells only of CH4 which is methane. It's a simple covalent molecule so we've got the shared pair of electrons here between the hydrogen and the carbon so it's covalently bonded and we are going to by the end of this video we're going to be able to work out what the 3D shape is of this molecule. And we're going to use a theory known as VSEPR and that stands for as you can see valence shell electron pair repulsion so VSEPR so a few things to point out first before we get started what's the valence shell well the valence shell is this outer shell here so that's where the sharing takes place if you like so we're interested in that shell there so if you notice I haven't drawn the inner shell of carbon because there's a there's a shell inside there with two electrons we're not interested in that we're interested in how many electron pairs are in the valence shell. So you can see from the diagram we've got one, two, three, four pairs of electrons in the valence shell. And because these electron pairs are all negatively charged, electrons are negative, electron pairs are negatively charged, these electron pairs will repel each other. Okay? So, and they will adopt a certain shape with a certain bond angle and that's what we're going to work out with the video. So we're going to start with the simplest shape so I've just made up this molecule AB2 okay so it's not an actual molecule we'll come on to an actual molecule as an example in a moment so AB2 so what I'm going to do is draw the dot and cross diagram of a covalently bonded AB2 molecule. So we need the, the A molecule in the middle there and I'm going to have a covalent bond here and a covalent bond here. Okay. So the, this is the valence shell how many pairs of electrons have we got in the valence shell? We've got one, two. So these pairs of electrons will repel each other. So what we're going to try and establish is what's the furthest apart they can get. So the furthest apart they can get is obviously 180 degrees. So we are going to have an, the A atom in the center and we're going to have, there's that pair of electrons, we'll have a B there and a B there. So we've got this bond angle between the atoms of 180 degrees. So this is the simplest shape and the name given to this shape is linear. So this is a linear molecule and I've got a model of one here, I'll just show you that. Okay, So we've got the central atom, these grey lobe shaped pieces of plastic here represent the electron pairs and there's the bonded atom at the end there. So there's your covalent bond and there's your, that would be the, the B in my example there. So that's what a linear molecule looks like. So everything's in the same plane.
So the actual example I'm going to use for the two pairs of electrons in the valence shell is CO2. Now, just to confuse things, there's a, there's a little awkward rule that comes in straight away. So if I draw the dot and cross diagram first, I'll be able to show you what that is. So we've got the carbon atom in the middle, and then we have these two oxygen atoms covalently bonded. Carbon's in group four of the periodic table, and if you remember from your covalent bonding lessons, you're going to get a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen, so it actually puts two of its electrons into each of these shared parts here. So there's carbon's four electrons. Oxygen also puts two electrons in. So there they are there. And oxygen's in group six, so one, two, we need another two electrons there, and another two there, another two there, and another two there. But remember, we're only interested in the number of pairs of electrons in the valence shell. This is the valence shell here. Right, now if you count these up, it looks like you've got, well it doesn't just look like, you have got one, two, three, four pairs of electrons. However, multiple bonds so i.e. that's um, double bonds and triple bonds they count as one pair of electrons okay so carbon dioxide in VSEPR terms has only got two pairs of electrons one pair there because that's a double bond which counts as one pair one pair there one pair there so that's two pairs of electrons in the valence shell okay so two pairs of electrons in the valence shell what are they going to do to each other they're going to repel each other and so What's the rule? I'll just bring back the board I drew before. It's going to form this linear shape. Okay. So when we draw a carbon dioxide molecule, we draw it like this. Bond angle would be 180 degrees if you're asked for that. So you can see there the linear shape in the molecule.